All right, what I'd like to show you now is how to publish your website or your web page on GitHub pages. Um, so we were somewhat familiar with GitHub because I shared some starting resources from GitHub. Um, so what we're going to show you now is how to publish your site onto GitHub and make it visible, right? We're doing local development, right? The files are just on our local computer. We're going to upload our files to GitHub, which is on the web, right? Like it's online. And then we can turn on GitHub pages and GitHub will host our website for us. Um, it'll give it a, a website address and then people can view our website as long as they have access to the internet. All right, so you're going to go to github.com and I actually had that open already. Um, you'll have to create an account. Um, I'll let you go through the sign in process. All right, if I sign up for a second here, it should be a sign in and you follow the instructions and go from there hopefully you can figure out how to make it uh, so you go to sign up <laughs> and once you sign up then you make your account and then you can sign in and my username is Mr. Bellcamp or I guess you can use your email address as well don't forget your password and from here I'm signed in as Mr. Bellcamp all right so what you want to do here now I've got a bunch of stuff in here it's actually I need to organize this but the main idea here is you can go to this plus sign here or the green button here, new, right? The plus sign is a new repository. So a repository, think of it almost like a folder, right? Each project you have should have its own repository. All right. So we're going to create a new repository. And that's what new here would do as well. And we're not going to start with a template. The owner is Mr. Velcamp. The name is going to be, what was I going to do? Let's turn it into, let's do our, our PB&J recipe. We'll, we'll upload that, okay? So repository name will be PBJ recipe. And description, we'll just say, you know, PB&J recipe to test GitHub pages. Sure. Now, when you create a repository, you can make it private. And then you have control over who can see it and commit to the repository. You can add me as a collaborator, for example, and then I can view the code, but no one else could. Um, but we want to share our repository on the internet, right? So we want to make it public. So we need to have it public in order to do, use GitHub pages, right? We want to publish our website to the world. We need to make it public. Um, we can initialize it with a readme file, and there's some other licensing stuff. We're just going to ignore that for now. And we will, we gave it a name, a description is optional, we made it public, we hit create repository. Now from here, there's some options here. We're just going to get started by uploading an existing file. Okay, they recommend a rep repository have this and this, we're ignoring those things. Um, but we're just going to, I'm keeping it simple, <laughs> upload an existing file and we drag files here. Now, when we do this, please, um, this PBJ recipe, is, this is kind of like already, this is a repository, this is already our folder. So we don't want to drag the folder into the folder. We want to go directly to these files, select them all, and just drag them into here. All right, index.html, style.css, and our image. And then we can add descriptions here. They gave us some default add files via upload, that's great to me and we hit commit changes. Okay, processing our files, ta-da, they are now stored online. So right now you could share this link with people, right, github.com slash mrvelkampbjrecipe.git, and that would allow them to access this repository. They could download the code, right? Like you could end up, uh, like you can share these files with other people this way. We want to actually publish this site so it's on a website. We don't just want to share this link to the repository. We want to publish it so it has like a URL, a web address. So to do that, you go to settings and under settings, there's in the menu here on the left, there's this pages. Um, and I believe we just need to, so GitHub pages is currently disabled. We haven't, this repository, we haven't turned it on yet. So we're going to select a source. And we want to select the main branch. There is only one branch. Now, GitHub is super advanced, and you can do all sorts of create different branches and merge them together, and it's great for multi-person projects and stuff. But we're going to keep it basic right now. We're going to choose the main branch. The root is good, and we just hit Save. Okay. 
and your GitHub pages source saved. GitHub pages that is currently being built from the main branch. Learn more. Okay, well, it's building the site. There's all sorts of options. And this can take a while. This might actually, I've had it take, I don't know, I, I can't remember. I've had it take like an hour or two. I've had it take until the next day. So it could take you a while. But when you come back here to settings and pages later, um, it should say your GitHub pages site is published at and give you a URL and you can check it out. So anyway, that's how you can do it. I'm going to pause the video and hope that it publishes soon. Um, and if it does, maybe I'll continue the video and show you this. But otherwise, yeah, just do this. Give it some time. Check the next day. And it should be published on, um, on a, with a web address. And you can share it with the world. Show it off to your friends and family. All right. Hope that made sense. Take care. And we'll see you in the next video. Okay, so I paused the video for a few minutes there, and it didn't take that long here. It now says, your site is live at this address, right? HTTPS, mrvelcamp.github.io slash pbjrecipe. So you can click on that, and there's my live website with this address right here. Okay, so this is now hosted on the web, right? Um, and when anyone types in this address and they have an internet connection, they'll be able to retrieve the files from github and it'll display in the web so if we inspect you can actually see that here under sources right and here's my sources there's an index.html ta-da style.css my images all right so these files right a web page is just files right we, we've uploaded those files to github and now when when someone types in this address into their computer they're requesting, hey, GitHub, please send me these files. Those files get sent back to their computer and display in their browser. And there's the PB&J recipe. OK, so that's how you can publish your web page. Um, where was that? Oh, yeah, I just saw it. i got to go back. Yeah, so settings, pages, main, root, save, and then it deploys it, and it's now public there. All right, hope that made sense. Take care, and see you in the next video.